Germany's requirements have proven difficult to meet, and riots and political unrest are now the norm in many European capitals. The German population could say, I'm out of here. I don't want to pay for this. They're, they're, they're the strongest economy, and they, they do have to pay for a lot of it. And the Greeks, uh, Spanish could bail. I mean, we're seeing riots in the streets because unemployment's 25% and rising. And, you know, if I'm a Greek family and, you know, I can't pay for my z pack for my, my sick kid, I'm going to be pretty upset. So I'm out of here. I could be out of here, just like Argentina did back uh, 10 years ago. So things could go badly wrong. I've personally experienced the, the change of mood in my hometown, which is Athens. I was born and raised in Greece. Um, over the last two and a half years, watching what was a warm and welcoming city for me, um, turning uh, angry, turning at times extremely violent, with moments feeling like it was a war zone. Um, and that's not just being in Athens. If you look at Southern Europe, if you look at Greece, there are demonstrations almost every day. If you look at Spain, now more recently in Italy, also a lot of demonstrations on, on the street. So unfortunately, I mean, different countries, people in different countries react different ways. And when people demonstrate too much on the streets, certainly it complicates very, very significantly the job of the government to try to sort out the situation. We've seen the same scenes in Madrid. We've seen the same scenes in Lisbon. Essentially, what you're seeing is just increasing anger because taxpayers know that they will have to fit the bill for this one. And also they feel that they've been uh, continuously, chronically, criminally misrepresented by their governments. A feeling of frustration that I feel is global and, and citizens across the world can, can relate to.